Hello and welcome. Hey, I made me a new contraption or invention, so to speak. Um, this is just easier to show it to you in the house, but I got my sluice box all set up outside. And we're going to see if we can catch some more of that really fine beach gold. First off, I don't even know what to call this thing. So I'm calling it something like a reverse or upside down fluid bed magnetic gold trap, I guess. Uh, when I show it to you, kind of think of it like a gold rush nugget bucket where the water comes down into the little tub and boils out all the light stuff and all the heavy stuff stays in the bottom. So that's what I'm attempting to do with this. So let me just tear this apart and I'll uh, show you what I got going and then we can take it outside and see if we can catch some gold. So we'll start with the bucket. Of course I got water flow coming in here, I got a valve here, I got water coming in the top, going down to the bottom. Now this spray bar here is above the water or above the material line. So I've got eight holes drilled in a line here, okay, and you're thinking what the heck. Okay, so we got that and that's going to spray on the material. Then I've got these two 95 pound pull magnets. They are super strong. One's going back here. And I don't know, these magnets might just mess the whole thing up. Who knows? We might have quite the disaster on our hands. Magnets go in here like this. And this is a pretty strong, just a sheet magnet. Not super weak, but it's not super strong either and this is going to go right in the middle right like so and then we're going to put a little plate on top of those and this is the lid to the laundry bucket all cut down and it just slides right in here like this then remember the water flows coming down on top so here's my mat. This is some of my silicone mat that I've been making. And these are some I don't know that I'm going to use anymore. So I cut it down to fit the bucket. Then I put a uh, cut a uh, piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe in half and siliconed it on top of the mat. So that's going to go down. Mat goes down in here in the bottom of the bucket. And then these spray bars will or the spray bars will go down on top of these PVC pipes and hopefully spread the material out and unlike a fluid bed where it comes from the sides of the bottom lifting all the material up to the top and blowing it out the front of the hole here hopefully this is going to just keep it nice and even um, this my, my skid plate I'm gonna have to do something different if this works but for this experiment It'll work just fine. This is my uh, little thing I use in the top of my buckets all the time. It doesn't fit in here real well. But for this experiment, it's going to work. So my material will go in here. I can control the water flow up here and in the back. So I think that's it. Hey, we got all set up finally. I've been monkeying around with this thing for a while trying to get it to run right. Um, I think I've got it. So look in the bucket, we got water coming down into the sand there. I let it run down a little bit just so we could uh, see what it's doing. Just to see what it's doing, I had to make a few adjustments. Um, it's wanting to load up a little bit right here. Um, I'm just going to go with it. There's not much I can do. I've changed the pitch. It's just the way that the sand's coming out of the hopper here. Uh, let's go ahead and get some gold. 1.402 grams of gold to that. All the gold that I got out of that sand first time around. And just since it ain't no fun to do that much gold, you need to get a real good feeling on how this is going to work. Um, we're going to add the 1.402 grams of gold in here. And I think what I'm going to do... It's just that half of it right now. Oh, it's floating on top of the water. That'll tell you how fine it is. 
float right on top. I'm going to stir this in. And then when we get down there a ways, I'll add in the rest of it. To catch 50% of the gold in here, I would be extremely happy. Get this loaded up. You can see where the magnetic stuff is starting to stick down in there. I think the trick is going to be once you start, you don't stop. And in the sluice box, the mats we're running are the silicone sluice box mats I've been making out of silicone and Legos. And I just like to say something real quick on these. I mean, I've been playing with them for a while. I know other guys are trying to make some. But I got a response or a comment this morning on the comments. The guy basically stated that uh, he watched my video in the morning, went home at lunchtime, uh, made up some silicone Lego sluice box mats, and that afternoon he said he had the best cleanup he ever had, and it was in it for his 10 inch. Uh, backpack sluice he called it so he only missed like five colors had 50 colors in the mat itself he said and it's the first time he had ever actually seen gold in his mat so he was thanking me for the great idea so it's nice to hear what other people have to say about the sluice box mats I know my results have been amazing to say the least Just about done with half the bucket. I think that gives you a pretty good idea of what's happening in the box. We're going to add in the rest of this gold. Oh, this is some fine stuff. Just floating right on top of the water. Yo, know, here's my thought, and I don't know if you can see it, but we got magnets in the back, and there's kind of a, a mound in there. It's not clearing out. Then, on top of the PVC pipe in there, excuse me while I get some more dirt, you know, you can kind of see the pipe in there, but it's got, all the gold's got to crawl over that pipe, and then over another mound of sand in the middle, then we're clearing out here in the front pipe here where it's flowing down there. You don't see quite as much as that exposed. And then the gold has got to crawl this mound to get out of the sluice box. So I don't know. We'll see what the results are, but uh, I think it's going to work okay. I mean, the gold's really got, it's really going to have to be packed. As long as it's staying fluid, it's going to sink into the bottom of the mat. Just got done running that bucket of dirt. Um, we're going to shut this off. Is it going to be a winner? Or is it going to be ready for the recycle bin? But look in the box. Uh, let me get the light so maybe you can see it. There is a line of gold right along here. Try and keep the, there you go. You can see it. Did we catch all the fine gold? We'll find out. That's pretty cool. Oh, that is black back there. Black, black, black. First two riffles right here are just... There we go. So oh, cool. I like what I'm seeing. 
All right, so what we're going to do is I am going to clean up this mat and the box separately. And I'll keep it all separate. I'm going to run it all through the cleanup sluice separately. Clean it up separately. It's going to be a chore. But, and then I'll be back. So in the last video, I turned the little tray to my cleanup sluice. I turned it into a little tilting mini miller's table. But, uh, so I can actually see the gold going in. And if I want to, I can just suck up the gold. I'm not getting it all. But I am getting some of it. I like that. So here's the gold that uh, was in the sluice box mat. And here is the gold that was in the hopper. Um, of course, all the bigger gold was caught, but look at all the fines and the dust caught also. Uh, I said I'd be happy with 50%. I'm going to say that's closer to what's well over 50%, probably 75 So let me throw this together and weigh it up and see if I've got to go on a hunt for the rest of my gold or not. And the results are, uh, there it's out, zero, one point six nine four. <clears throat> Started with one point four zero two, almost three tenths of a gram more than I started with so we pulled some more gold out of that well I know there's a lot of variables in my little experiment I ran there with the cleanup sluice and uh, my panning skills and everything but anytime you end up with more gold than you started with that's an absolute win in my book uh, so yeah so we pulled some more gold out of that beach sand I think with a little more adjusting I think it'll work, cut down the water flow a little bit, too much pressure on the spray bars, I think. But for a first run, I couldn't ask for any more than that. So I think next time you see it, it'll look totally different. I've got some plans for it. Uh, we'll see how that works out. But uh, I think my little experiment went well. Um, I thank you for watching, and we will catch you next time. Bye now.